here some brand new lip products from e.l.f. Cosmetics. Uh, you all know I get so excited when e.l.f. comes out with new colors or a new lipstick or a new lip gloss. If you are familiar with the Studio line, they came out with a whole bunch of Studio lipsticks um, last year and there's a whole bunch of different colors. I've already reviewed the entire collection when it first came out. So if you missed that video, I did lip swatches and everything and in-depth review, I will link that video down below. So these are three new colors that were added to the Studio Moisturizing Lipstick line. So when these first came out, they came in this packaging right here. So as soon as they came out, I purchased all of them and I reviewed them like as soon as they came out. And this is the original packaging. Now since then, they have changed the packaging and they have changed the formula. So this is the shade Wink Pink and I love this color as you can tell. And I went ahead and purchased the exact same shade but with new packaging just to test it out and see if the color is different, if the formula is different. So here is the old packaging on this side and this is the new packaging. So as you can tell they made it a little bit shorter. Instead of having the color strip right here, they have it now at the bottom. Here's a look at the lipstick side by side. Um, as you can tell the old packaging, the lipstick tube was a lot wider. Uh, a lot thicker of a lipstick tube and the new one is a little bit more slim and it actually fits a little bit easier when you're uh, applying it to your mouth. I feel like it it's smaller so you can get into those little corners of your mouth a lot easier. Now with the new formula they are still really creamy, they are still really smooth but I feel like the formula is different. It just feels like it's long wearing. Um, it's not as slippery. I feel like the old ones were a little, almost too creamy. But these ones seem to last a little bit longer and they improved the formula, which it's kind of a bummer because I have all of these in this packaging and this formula, but that's okay. I don't mind. Um, putting up with it. There's still amazing lipsticks. So, so I just wanted to point that out there and that's just my own opinion. That's my own experience. I wanted to really, really test these out so I could give you guys as much information as possible. Alright, so we talked about the formula. Now let's get into the lip swatches and all the goodies on these three new shades. I also have the brand new shade they came out with in the essential line. This is the extra lip glosses. I've done a full review and lip swatches on these as well. They're amazing. So I will link that video down below for you as well. So the first shade, as you can tell, I'm already wearing. This is called Crazy Cranberry. This is the most beautiful shade for fall and winter. I am just in love with this shade. It just applies beautifully. I'm not even wearing a lip liner right now, um, just for swatching purposes. So here is Crazy Cranberry. Such a beautiful, beautiful color. And there's a swatch right there. These are just so beautiful and creamy. They have a little bit of shine to them, but it's not anything crazy. They're not super like hyper gloss. So this is Wine Tour. Now I would definitely wear lip liners with both of these darker shades just because they are pretty dark, but gosh, you guys, these are just so pigmented. They glide on your lips like butter, but like ugh, they're just so beautiful. I love the formula of these. So unlike Crazy Cranberry, which has kind of like a reddish uh, cranberry shade to it, um, this one, Wine Tour, has more of a violet undertone. So it has that ni nice, really pretty purple undertone, but yet it still is in that berry family. So here is Wine Tour right here, and this is Crazy Cranberry. So I have to mention the e.l.f. Extra Lip Gloss. This is the new shade and I'm mentioning it right now before the last lipstick because this would look beautiful with Wine Tour. Um, it's just a really nice deep, deep shade. This is the shade Luke. And unfortunately with these, the writing comes off really easily as you can tell. So there is the gloss and that's the shade Luke. I just wanted to show you what it looked like over top. So as you can tell, these two colors look really nice together, so I just had to point that out. And just to show you how pigmented the gloss is, I'm going to apply the gloss with nothing underneath. Here 
is what Luke looks like with nothing underneath. I am just wearing this lip gloss. As you can tell, these are so pigmented. They're really creamy. They go on really nice. I would definitely recommend wearing a lip liner, but I'm just doing a quick swatch for you guys. So that is Luke. So really nice, dark, vampy color. And it definitely has that like purpley, berry grape type of tone to it. I do have to point out the formula on this is a little bit different than the original line. I don't know why, but it's a little bit tacky. Like very, very, very slightly tacky. I don't think it's anything that's going to bother anyone, but it is a little bit tacky. The other ones are not like that at all. They're super buttery. They're super creamy. This one is not as creamy. It feels a little bit thicker when I put it on. I do notice the formula is a little different, so I have to point that out that this new shade, Luke, is a little bit different in formula, but super pigmented, super pretty. Alright, so the last Studio Moisturizing Lipstick new shade that just came out, this one is called Orange Dream. This is Orange Dream right there. So pretty. Alright, so this is Orange Dream. Oh my god, you guys, this is so crazy pigmented. It's a really out there color. Now, I feel like on me, well, even in the swatch, I feel like this pulls more of a yellow tone on me. Um, so it has kind of a yellow base in this type of orange shade. Yep, that's the color. This is the darkest shade out of the original line, and this one is called Ravishing Rose. And... You know, I don't see any repeats within the line, so these three new shades are completely new. And the last one here, which I know I probably will get some questions about, so I went ahead and grabbed it really quickly. This, again, is from the original line. This is Coral Cutie, and comparing it to um, Orange Dream, I'm going to swatch them side by side. So here is Coral Cutie, and that's Orange Dream. Coral Cutie is like a bright coral but it does have like that kind of neon orange shade to it I'm not sure how my camera's picking it up but in person it's just like a bright sort of pinky coral shade orange dream is straight up orange <laughs> so there's just a comparison of those colors there all right you guys so that was a look at the new lip products from elf cosmetics i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed it's completely free and i post videos on every tuesday friday and sometimes on a sunday thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch today don't forget to check out the information box for all my links follow me on twitter instagram facebook i love talking to you guys follow me if you're not following me i will see you all in my next video and remember smarter beauty is better beauty bye guys